Hi, my name is Cheryl Jefferson. <coughs> Sorry, Amy. <Yeah. coughs> okay. Hi, my name is Cheryl Jefferson, and I had the great pleasure and privilege of being a speaker at TEDx IIT 2013. It was an absolutely phenomenal experience on every level. The event was tremendously well organized and received with tremendous enthusiasm and passion and great interest on the part of the audience. And it literally was a game changer for me in everything that I do. I spoke on the topic of using the fine arts to break criminal tradition, that is using painting and sculpture and dance and music and fiction and film to break traditions that include honor killing, child marriage, female genital mutilation, acid violence, and other behaviors that kill or maim millions of females every year but are not considered crimes. As a result of doing the TEDx speech, doors opened up in ways that I never could have imagined. The first thing that happened actually happened during the intermission after I spoke that morning at TEDx IIT 2013. I was speaking with one of my colleagues and mentioned that I wanted to take my idea of using the fine arts to bring awareness to these issues that are often not even considered crimes, so there are no laws, and find a way to solve that problem using the arts. And I said to my colleague, I need a law school. I want to take the fine arts and use these uh, mediums to address these topics and put them in front of lawyers and raise awareness as an effort towards creating change. Whereupon my colleague turned to me and said, IIT has a law school. I was like, of course, Chicago Kent College of Law, IIT Chicago Kent College of Law. As a result of this connection made at TEDx, my colleague connected me with the dean, Dean Harold Krent, at IIT Chicago Kent College of Law, and I pitched him on the idea of putting an art show in front of his students that would address these very urgent topics. Dean Krent said yes immediately, and we then began the process of putting together the show. Chicago Kent IIT Law School has a magnificent atrium that lends itself beautifully as a gallery space. And we began to make our, our arrangements only to discover that for various and sundry reasons we were not going to be able to use the walls, but that we could build our own walls. Uh, this was a very startling moment for me. I had not planned on building walls. In fact, I had what I referred to as the invisible budget. So I gave a lot of thought to what to do. It was very clear to me that the importance of taking the premise I had presented in the TED Talk to the next step, to a real level of using the fine arts to impact criminal traditions, that this opportunity was before me. And I certainly couldn't let a few walls stand in my way, not if I was really going to impact these issues that dramatically you know, hurt the lives of so many women around the globe.